What is up, Prince Squad? I am back with another video, baby! And if you want to know what I'm doing a video on, stay tuned. T-shirt chick. Before I actually get started with this video, I do want to let you guys know that you can find me on other social media platforms and I have a second YouTube channel just in case you didn't already know called T-Shirt Chick Live. You can follow me on Instagram at T-Shirt Chick TV and I also have that Print Squad group on Facebook. Now on the T-Shirt Chick Live channel, I do daily live streams at 10 a.m. Central Time and on that Print Squad group, you can get all your questions answered really quickly. All right, let's go. All right, Print Squad, today I'm gonna be coding some screens and I know I've done videos on this before in the past, but I still have people, new people coming along and I have so many videos posted. Some of them may be hard for them to find, even though I have them on playlists and stuff like that. But I'm just going to go through. And I'm going to be, uh, if I can find, I have some new emulsion, some trifecta emulsion from Ulano. Um, I'm going to be coating the screens with that today. Hopefully I can find it right quick because I don't know what I did with it. And then I'm going to explain to you guys what you would use that type of emulsion for. So I have the Ulano trifecta emulsion right here and i'm not even going to show the package of it right now because it used to be named something different so they just changed the name of it to trifecta but you can use this with all three types of screen printing inks which would be discharge ink water-based ink and plastisol inks it can work with all three of those you don't have to worry about it degrading because you're using water-based inks or or the discharge inks so um if you're interested in that you can check it out i'll try to leave a link down below for you guys if you're interested in purchasing some of that but i'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up so i can get to uh coating these screens Alright, when you're coating screens, the main thing to remember is to start with the flat side of the screen instead of the inside. And however many coats you put on the outside of it, that's how many you need to put on the inside. So I'm going to do all right. Oh, I kind of messed up there. So I'm going to have to fix it. All right, sometimes you mess up. All you got to do is go over it again to fix it. I put one coat on that side. And I'm y'all, I'm just having some issues today. As you see up here, I got it all on the edge of the screen right there. And then I got some drips down there, down here, right here, as you see. So I'm going to fix all of that. And when I'm fixing that, all I'm doing is just scraping the excess off. I'm just scraping the excess off. And I got some on my hand. So I'm going to um, use my paper towel and get that off. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and turn it around to the other side and I'm going to do one coating on this one also. So I let it bead up. And I have made a mess all on the outside of here so that's why it's kind of dripping a little bit. But this one is going to be good enough so I'm going to go ahead and place it over here. All right, I'm going to change the camera angle so I can try to get a better view for you guys. All right, I'm going to go ahead and coat this, coat this second screen right here. And I'm going to coat it close so that you can check it out. And hopefully y'all can kind of see how it beads up on here. All 
Ah, come on. All right. Alright, this my this the last one right here. I ain't have but three of them that I was doing today. And I'll be up out of here. All right, as you guys see, I'm tilting the screen and I'm trying to let the emulsion bead up before I start. And since I didn't put that much emulsion in there, it's actually, you know, I'm having to like make it go to one side. And as you see, I am going up in one smooth motion and I'm having all kinds of issues today with the screen. I don't know. I don't know what I had going on. But um, once you coat the screen, you know you try to go smooth as you see right there I did miss a spot so I'm trying to get the emulsion into that one side of the scoop coater so I can try to get that spot and um, try, trying to you know coat it evenly but having a little bit of issues and sometimes it's like that all right right there you see I got that spot and when you have to go over the screen like that multiple times all you have to do is scrape the excess emulsion off so when you go back over the screen instead of coating you know coating it with more emulsion just use it as a scraper to scrape the excess off so um, as you see I am done with it right now so um, all of the emulsion that was not used on the screen you can put it right back in the container and I found that one of the easiest ways to do that. I used to use ink cards and stuff like that, but now I, I just take a glove, put it on my finger, uh, put the extra or excess emulsion back into the container, just scraping the inside of the scoop coater with my finger and doing it that way. I mean, it's you can use a ink card and stuff like that, but you know, this I found this way works pretty well and you don't have to use your ink cards all right so just uh, trying to make sure that I'm getting all of it that I can easily get out of there and once I get done with that I'll have to go wash out the scoop coater you do not want to let your scoop coater sit like that because it gets harder to wash out if you leave it sitting there for a long time and also when you get ready to close up your emulsion you want to make sure that you close it up tightly close that lid on there tightly because you don't want it drying out or anything before you have a chance to use all of it so that's it i'm just putting it back over in the box that it came in and putting it away for storage until i get ready to use it the next time all right squad so i got all the all of the screens coated right there so what i usually do is um let them dry overnight and i'll turn my fan on i usually have my heater and my dehumidifier over there and turn all that on and i usually let it dry overnight or it can dry within 30 minutes but i like to let it dry overnight to make sure everything is dry all right, that's about all I have for you guys. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you have not subscribed to the Red Channel, which is my other channel, T-Shirt Chick Live, go ahead and subscribe to that channel also because I do daily live streams Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Central Time. So if you have any questions or just want to hang out, you can join me for that. But I'll see you guys in another video. Print Squad out.